Today we are going to talk about Kingdom Protista. Euglena is a genus of single-celled microorganisms known as protists. Euglena are typically found in freshwater environments such as ponds and lakes, although some species can also inhabit marine or brackish waters. They are unicellular, lack cell wall, but pellicle is present. They are mixotrops. Euglena usually green in color due to the presence of chloroplasts, which allow them to carry out photosynthesis. In addition to photosynthesis, euglena are capable of heterotrophic feeding. They possess a whip-like tail called a flagellum, which they use for locomotion. They have a primitive eye spot, known as a stigma, which helps them detect light and orient themselves accordingly. The contractile vacuole acts as a dynamic water expulsion system. Paramecium is a genus of single-celled protists. They are commonly found in various aquatic habitats such as ponds, lakes, slow-moving rivers, and even in stagnant water bodies like ditches and puddles. They are unicellular, lack cell wall, but pellicle is present. Paramecium cells are elongated and covered with thousands of cilia, which beat in coordinated waves, propelling the organism through its aquatic environment. Paramecium primarily feed on bacteria, algae, and other small organisms, using specialized structures called oral grooves and oral cilia to sweep food into their mouth-like opening called the cytostome. Paramecium possess two nuclei, a large macronucleus and one or more smaller micronuclei. The macronucleus controls everyday cellular functions, while the micronucleus is involved in sexual reproduction and genetic exchange. The contractile vacuole in paramecium is a specialized organelle that regulates water balance within the cell by collecting and expelling excess water. It prevents the cell from swelling or bursting in freshwater environments, where osmotic balance is crucial for survival. Amoeba is a microscopic, single-celled organism belonging to the group of protists, Amoebas can be found in various aquatic environments including freshwater, marine habitats, and damp soils. They are unicellular and lack cell wall. They have highly adaptable structure and remarkable ability to change shape. One of the distinguishing features of an amoeba is its pseudopodia, which are temporary extensions of the cell membrane used for movement and capturing prey. They are heterotrophic. Amoebas primarily feed on smaller microorganisms like bacteria and algae, using a process called phagocytosis. They extend their pseudopodia to surround the prey, forming a temporary food vacuole where the organism is broken down and nutrients are absorbed. The contractile vacuole of amoeba is a specialized organelle that helps maintain the cell's water balance by collecting and expelling excess water. Ulva is a genus of green algae commonly known as sea lettuce. It belongs to the division Chlorophyta and is widely distributed in marine and freshwater environments around the world. Cell wall is present and it is made up of cellulose. Ulva has a simple structure, lacking complex tissues or organs like roots, stems, or leaves. Multicellular thallus differentiated into leaf-like blades and root-like holdfast. This algae plays an essential ecological role as it provides habitat and food for various marine organisms. It serves as a primary food source for herbivorous species, including sea slugs, snails, and sea urchins. Photosynthetic pigments are chlorophyll A and B. Stored food is starch. Gelidium is a genus of red algae, commonly referred to as agarweed or agarophyte, and is widely distributed in marine. Cell wall is present and it is made up of cellulose, multicellular thallus with holdfast. Photosynthetic pigments are chlorophyll A, B, and phycobile proteins. Stored food is Floridian starch. Sargassum is found in the marine environment. The color of sargassum can vary, ranging from olive green to dark brown. So they are known as brown algae. They have comparatively larger and complex body structure. Thallus is plant-like. It consists of root-like holdfast, stem-like stipe, and leaf-like blade. Berry-like air-filled structures called pneumatocysts that keep them buoyant. Cell wall is made up of cellulose and alginic acid. Storage food is laminarin. Photosynthetic pigments are chlorophyll A, C, and xanthophyll. Diatoms are a diverse group of single-celled algae that belong to the phylum Basilariophyta. They are found in various aquatic environments, including oceans, lakes, rivers, and even damp soil. Diatoms are unicellular and known for their unique and intricate cell walls made of silica, which are called frustules. Cell wall is made up of pectin and silica. One of the fascinating aspects of diatoms is their incredible diversity. There are estimated to be around 100,000 known species of diatoms, and it is believed that many more remain undiscovered. 
They come in various shapes and sizes, from circular to elongated or even star-like forms. The frustules of diatoms exhibit intricate patterns and structures. Golden brown in color, so known as golden brown algae. Storage food is chrysolaminarin. Photosynthetic pigments are chlorophyll A, C, and xanthophyll.